Hello, my name is Per Christian Eide. I'm a professor of neurosurgery at the University of Oslo. Thanks for listening to this short presentation of our recent paper in Brain Communications about MRI biomarkers of cerebrospinal fluid tracer dynamics in idiopathic normal pressure hydrocephalus. In this study, we assessed two proposed MRI biomarkers for the disease, namely grading of ventricular reflux of a CSF tracer and estimation of molecular clearance or clearance failure. We use dynamic intrathecal contrast-enhanced MRI up to 48 hours after intrathecal administration of the contrast agent gadabitrol in a dose of 0.5 millimoles serving as cerebrospinal fluid tracer. The tracer does not pass the blood-brain barrier and therefore shows tracer movement outside the blood vessels within the perivascular and interstitial spaces. Ventricular reflux was graded from 0 to 4. Grade 0, there is no supraaqueductal reflux of tracer. Grade 1, there is sign of supraaqueductal reflux of tracer. Grade 2, there is transient enrichment of tracer within the lateral ventricle stay 1. Grade 3, there is lasting enrichment of lateral ventricle state 2, but lateral ventricles are not isointense with subarachnoid cerebrospinal fluid. Grade 4, there is lasting enrichment of lateral ventricle state 2, and lateral ventricles are isointense with subarachnoid cerebrospinal fluid. Clearance of tracer from cerebrospinal fluid was assessed by measuring signal intensity within circular regions of interest within the cerebrospinal fluid of Cisterna magna and within the parenchyma of entorenal cortex. Normalized signal unit ratios were measured. We included 34 patients with idiopathic normal pressure hydrocephalus who all were shunt responders and therefore denoted definite idiopathic normal pressure hydrocephalus and included 17 reference subjects. The traditional imaging biomarkers showed signs of increased CSF spaces within patients with idiopathic normal pressure hydrocephalus. Matricular reflex grades 3 to 4 were seen in 9 of 10 patients with definite idiopathic normal pressure hydrocephalus, whereas in only 1 of 10 reference subjects. The one-night molecular clearance and two-night molecular clearance from cerebrospinal fluid and from entorenal cortex were reduced in idiopathic normal pressure hydrocephalus. Matricular reflux grades 3 to 4 were accompanied with reduced one-night molecular clearance from cerebrospinal fluid and from entorenal cortex. We measured the pulsatile intracranial pressure and utilized the mean wave amplitude as a surrogate marker of pressure volume reserve capacity or intracranial compliance. The intracranial compliance was reduced in individuals with ventricular reflex grades 3 to 4 and in individuals with evidence of molecular clearance failure. Overall, we conclude that the presently described MRI biomarkers add novel information about cerebrospinal fluid dynamics and clearance and may add favorably to previously established anatomical MRI biomarkers. The proposed biomarkers may potentially be a more specific and less invasive alternative to other more invasive tests to identify shunt responsive idiopathic normal pressure hydrocephalus. Thanks for watching and feel free to contact in case of further questions.